I guess it won't matter what I say, will it? As soon as I saw you, I tailed you because I wanted to confirm whether or not Toby and Danzo told me the truth. But that wasn't the only thing that I was able to verify. When I'm with you, I remember things. Childhood feelings of adoring my big brother. That's the reason why. The closer I get to you, the closer we become to how we were before, as brothers. And the more I understand you, the more I come to hate the Hidden Leaf Village for causing you so much pain. I hate it more now than I've ever hated it before. I know what you want me to do, how you want me to be. You're my big brother, so I know you're going to disapprove. But it's because I'm your brother that no matter what you say, you're not going to stop me. Even if you protect the village now, I will still destroy it someday. Tora. Tatsu. So it's goodbye. E. Reanimation Jutsu. Release! Big brother. There is still time. I can feel myself slowly losing consciousness now. I must tell you everything before I say goodbye and we part for good. There is no need to lie anymore. The night I left you, I did everything Donzo and Toby told you I did. I'll show you the entire truth. Seems we can't prevent the Uchiha coup d'etat. And if civil war erupts in the leaf, the other villages will invade for sure. True war will break out. When I tried to stop all this with the Kotoa Matsukami, Danzo stole my right eye. That man doesn't trust me at all. He intends to protect the village his way, no matter what it takes or how it looks. I suspect he'll come after my left eye, so I'll give it to you before he has a chance. She's sweet. You're the only one I can count on, my best friend. Protect the village and the Uchiha name. Both of them. We cannot condone this any longer. If they're going to start a revolution and use it to try to usurp our power, then we have no choice but to judge the Uchiha as traitors to the Hidden Leaf. Please wait, Koharu. Don't rush to conclusions. However, he was in. The Uchiha clan will not be dissuaded. And since that is in fact the case, we must take measures to avoid any mayhem. That includes innocent children, too. Don't say such things in front of Itachi. Besides which, a battle against the Uchiha will be far from an easy task. We must plan our strategy very carefully. We are in a race against time here. We ought to strike them preemptively before they can make their first move. If we join forces and use our respective black ops to launch a surprise attack from behind, we'll end this fast. The Uchiha are comrades in arms. I would like to use words first before violence. I will come up with a strategy. Itachi, it doesn't have to be long, but buy me as much time as you can. Despite what Lord Third said, he will move to protect the leaf if push comes to shove. That's the kind of man he is. In which case, as the Hokage, even Hirozen will have to take decisive measures. Whether it starts a war or not, once the coup d'etat happens, the Ochia will lock themselves into a fate of getting annihilated. 
including your innocent little brother, who knows nothing. However, there is a way to spare just your brother prior to any revolt. If things come to pass, your brother will likely come to know everything. And if he witnesses a leaf shinobi slaughter his entire clan, he will develop a vengeful heart towards the leaf. And then I'm afraid that he, unfortunately, will have to die as well. Is that a threat? No, I'd just like you to make a choice. Either align yourself with the Uchiha, launch the coup d'etat, and die along with the rest of your clan. Or, side with the leaf, save your little brother before the revolt, and then help us eliminate all the other Uchiha. But no matter what happens, to protect the leaf, this must be quelled before mayhem arises. The only one that can handle this mission is you, a double agent for both the Uchiha and the Leaf. Itachi, there is no one else. Itachi, this will likely be the most painful mission for you. But on the other hand, it will allow your little brother to be spared. I know you care about the village as much as I. Will you accept this mission? How did you know about me? You slipped through the highest level of leaf security and went to examine the Nakano Shrine's secret stone tablet. Only the Uchiha are aware of its location. After that, I studied your movements and looked into what kind of character you are and what your ideology is. Well, that saves me much time. For you already know that I am an Uchiha myself, and bear hatred toward both the Leaf and my own clan. I have terms. I'll help you exact revenge upon the Uchiha clan, but you are not to harm the village itself. Nor... Sasuke Uchiha. Now, I regret not telling you everything before it had come to this. I see. So you've aligned with the other side. Father. Mother. I just... We already know, Itachi. Itachi, just promise me this. <laughs> that you'll take care of Sasuke. I will. Do not fear it. This is the path you have chosen. Compared to yours, our pain will be over in an instant. Our philosophies may differ, but I'm still proud of you. You are truly a kind child. There's nothing more to say. I have told you the whole truth. I won't have to ever again. I have always lied to you and asked for your forgiveness while keeping you at a distance. Because I wanted to keep you out of this. But now I think that perhaps you could have changed father and mother. And the rest of you, Chiha, as well. If I had only come to you from the start, looked straight into your eyes and told you the truth, then I wouldn't have to stand before you as a failure, telling you all of this. But I want to impart at least this much truth to you. Forgive me. And whatever you do from here on out, know this. No matter what, I will love you always.